Mr. Crayhill, can we have your first witness? Your Honour, we're not calling any witnesses. I don't follow. Nevertheless, my client is offering no evidence. The defence rests. Please put that book away, Edmund. Uh, yes, Mammy. Sorry. How is your investigation going, Mr. Poirot? Do you really think Joyce was telling the truth? Eh bien, there is still a murder not solved here in Woodley Common, huh? That of Monsieur Leslie Ferrier? Leslie had certain attractions, but he was... deeply unsuitable. You spent most of the time consumed by the green-eyed monster, didn't you, sis? <clears throat> it was all over between us when it happened. All over? Yes. I can still hear the smashing of crockery. Sis! <laughs> It's all to do with a girl called Sue. Mm -hmm. She's in the operatic society with me, and she is the most perfect, magical, beautiful human being. I see. And I was up for the part of Nanky Poo, and she was going to be my yum yum. All right, sweet. Mm. Oh, Lord, I almost forgot, Ruthie. Adams was hunting you out. Oh. Huh? Girls talk, I expect. Can I come too? Don't be an ass, Billy. She's up at the house. Righto. Mm. Shan't be long. I'll make sure he behaves. Must say she took it awful well. What? Catherine. I rather fear I'd be less magnanimous if an old flame flaunted their new conquest quite so boldly. You're different. Oh? You don't have any old flames. Oh, ha ha. Oh, do you? Never quite worked you out, silly Billy. Do you think I don't know how it feels to lose everything? To love someone and, and to know you'll never have them because they found someone else? And actually, I might as well be dead. Because I've lost the one thing that made life worth living. Oh, he wants to set up a gym. Tell him your plan. I want to set up a gym. You never thought about getting into shape, Moz? Alcohol's just empty calories. Then what was the point? Oh, Mr. Wentworth. I do beg your pardon, Miss Turner. And as I say, I have no wish to impugn our friend's undoubted courage, but my question stands. Your friends Wilson and Bowers set off for the pole only a couple of months later, didn't they? Exhausted and depleted from your queer bird's nesting trip. Was it wise of Scott to let you go, do you think? It wasn't merely the hunt for the eggs, Mr. Wentworth. There was the polar rationing experiment. Could have been carried out months before in conditions of perfect safety, rather than leaving you crippled with cramp out there on the ice. Steady on, Clive. Look, do you fancy doing something? Something that doesn't involve singing or putting on a costume? <laughs> what do you mean? Like, getting a life? Hmm. I'd like that very much. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been out with you when we've not had a script. Well... We'll just have to improvise. What are you doing? Working on me tension zones. It's isometrics. Gay maths. We'll uh, come round and see you again sometime. With his record. <laughs> Don't think that's likely. Oh, hi, hi. Oh, um, hello. Benjamin, or Benny, as I understand he was known, was not a regular parishioner, and sadly I didn't know him personally. But a sudden and unexpected loss like this is hard on all those left behind. And we share in the great sadness felt by each and every one of you, his friends, family, and colleagues. So, could you uh, give a comment on your meeting with the Prime Minister? The Prime Minister and I were simply having a drink together in our club. And uh, what were you discussing? Cricket. Rather a large van for two ladies on a day trip, isn't it? Little problem with that. We're planning on doing a lot of shopping. Really? Cheese, wine, saucisson, and 60,000 industrial strength hormone replacement patches. <laughs> okay, on your way. 
Ja się wi. Jaki wy? Green. And glowing. But I'm no expert, but nothing like that's ever come out of my dream. No. He, uh, he was rushed to a hospital, but the poor beggar had had it. That's when people started talking. The flowers that bloom in the spring, tra la, breathe promise of merry sunshine. As we merrily dance and we sing, tra la, we welcome the hope that they bring, tra la, of a summer of roses and wine, of a summer of roses and wine. And that's what we mean when we say that a thing is welcome as flowers that bloom in the spring, tra la 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 la.